Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and we are at the range testing, as ever. Yeah, I know, it's rough, but someone's got to do it. Um, currently got on test, this is quite interesting, this uh, target system uh, by Newbold. Uh, these are available at Calibre Innovations in the UK, but they're, an actually, uh, they're actually a rubberized target system, uh, like a self-healing target. Uh, and like they can sort of knock down as you can see so when you hit them they're knocked down you can reset them by obviously manually doing it by walking back up to it and doing it or tie some string you know and just pull the string so to speak uh, or obviously you can basically turn this upside down take the legs off turn it upside down so that imagine this is upside down they'll sort of just knock like that and swing back uh, well, I'll do that in a minute anyway, I'll sort of demonstrate that shortly. Um, but they are pretty much virgin at the minute, uh, not used to them yet. So this should be interesting. I'm going to put a fair bit of ammo through. Uh, I'm going to sort of use my 15-22, put a load of uh, 22 ammo through. Uh, and then we'll put some bigger 308 stuff uh, just to see what it sort of does to the rubber i believe you can't use hollow points because that will sort of you know bite a bit of the rubber out so to speak um but interesting i mean the kit that you get is basically um well the targets as you can see uh, and the bracket which you just screw obviously you don't get the timber you have to go and get the timber um but it's just a case of screwing these down um I'll show you how they come out. Sort of just pop out like that. Just got like these rubberized, um, sort of, well, I don't know what you call them, squashy rubber bits anyway that sort of just go into the holes there. You can sort of see it. This is an in the field test, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just, so I'm holding the camera and trying to, trying to get this one back in. Pre pretty easy to. You know to assemble that's it not one-handed though there we go just sort of pops in like that uh, and you get like these this sort of bracket here so basically all you have to do is just get some timber yeah, i've just got some 4b1 it's it's not ideal but it fits um, the exact size timber would be better uh, but pretty cool as well this stuff is made of the same material as well so if someone manages to put a bullet through uh, your bracket it won't damage it it's, it's made of the same material but these are ideal for somewhere where you can't sort of use um, steel targets you know if you want some reactive targets but you can't really use steel because there's a worry of ricochet or or whatever um, you know these things are ideal um, so obviously as with any target you need a safe backstop um, I'm in my uh, sort of private shooting range, um, which is completely safe. Um, but yeah, just quite interesting. But enough of me rabbiting. Let's let's put some holes through them, or at least try anyway. Okay, then guys, we'll use the uh, Smith and Wesson 22 uh, just to put some rounds through the targets, and they've all blown over already in the wind. So I've just got to go reset them. <laughs> you can actually adjust the sensitivity sensitivity of them they've got like a little knot i'll show you shortly but let's just put some rounds through them let's go and have a look Okay, so that looks like a hole, but it's not. It's just the, the lead, basically. Looking at the other side. Wow, it's pretty much just like a pinprick. It's 
Same with all of them. Not really done anything, really. Just a tiny, tiny pin prick. Like I say, that is just the, you know, the, the mark from the lead, the actual lead bullet. Yeah, interesting. I think what I might do, that's the knot I was on about, by the way, guys. You just uh, if adjust this knot and that'll adjust the, you know, the angle that they're leaning at so you can make them really sensitive. Yeah, I guess if you're just using like an air pistol or something. I actually tried these, my son actually tried these with a Nerf gun. Um, set up, you know, really sensitive and it was knocking them over, you know, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, save, like keep resetting them, I'm going to turn this upside down and uh, and then I can just blaze away at them and then uh, well, I'll set the camera up sort of close to them, see what the, uh, see what it's actually doing to them as, it, as the bullets pass through. Okay then guys, so I've just flipped it over then, so I think this is the way to do it really, if you're sort of just doing some uh, you know, sort of fast plinking and stuff. These should sort of pretty much just move every time the bullet passes through them and no need to adjust them either, so this should be more fun. Okay then guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mag dump just on this one, so 20, 25 rounds just on this, yeah, see what it does. Not a lot. <laughs> They're just t like tiny pinpricks on the back. These things are really cool. Really cool. Okay guys, so we'll put some 308 through these uh, new bold soft targets and just see what it does. Okay, let's see what 308's done to it. Well, can't even tell where the 308 is. I have put one 308 through each of these. Uh, that might be it there, that slightly bigger one. Yeah, I think that's it. They're all in the same place. That's a 308 round then. So, he's left a little bit of a hole on the back. Nothing major. But to be fair, I think you'd really use these just for um, rim fire, hair guns, I don't know. Maybe just use them for, for everything, but not sure how much punishment they'll take from something like a 308, you know, after few hundred rounds. Be interesting to sort of see. Um, I'll let you know how I get on guys, but I think to be fair I'll be mainly using this for, for rim fire. So yeah, pretty impressed with these. They are pretty cool. 
Anyway guys, that's your in the field rack and load review of the new bold target system. Uh, really quite impressed with it, really quite impressed. I think, you know, it'll be ideal for, you know, like I said, where you can't use steel. Um, but yeah, not bad. Anyway, that's rack and load, see ya.